What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Joseph Parker versus Shonda Winters, which was on the Mighty Garcia versus Jesse Vargas undercard in the zone. It was on the main card, the opener, and overall, Parker was outlanding Winters. He did drop him, I believe, in the third or was the second. And then in round number four, I believe that he lost that round. He and Parker got cut, and he got caught with a lot of Winters hooks. But if um, Winters was heavier, I feel like they would have done a toll, like Dillian White's hooks on Parker when they were on the inside. Parker got dropped. But as I said, Shonda Winters was only 208 pounds and only six foot two and 39 years old. So he wasn't really a threat, although he did cut Parker and landed some good shots. I had the uh, fight five, excuse me, four to one going into the sixth round where Parker landed a huge um, shot, stiffening uh, Shonda Winters up, then following up with a couple of more shots, dropping him into the ropes. Referee then stopped the fight when Winters was not able to step forward, and yet Parker improves to... 27 and 2 with 21 by a knockout, and Winters is now 13 and 3 with 12 knockouts. In my prediction video, I said Parker would get a decision or a late knockout. I would say that the sixth round is sort of mid, uh, mid fight, so I wasn't correct on my prediction. But it was looking that way that it'd go the distance. Actually, after you see how Parker did it around it before. He did get caught a couple times, as I said before. But overall, Parker, next for him, I feel like he'll get a Chisor fight, or Usyk will get that Chisor fight. But overall, I feel like Parker will get a vacant WBO title shot after Josh was forced to vacate it. And it will likely be against um, Alexander Usyk in this open heavyweight division. So that's really it. I'm going to be boxing, and I'll see you guys later.